Welcome back. All of our clutch parts arrive. We got a new clutch. We got a flywheel. We have an assortment of shims to shim the flywheel and new engine main seal. First step we got to do is get the old flywheel off. Okay, the engine is still on its little rolling stand, but I have a nylon strap going around it to keep it from wanting to fall off. Uh, we got the flywheel lock on here and a 36 millimeter socket and a breaker bar and this is supposed to be ridiculously tight so let's see if it will budge and it's very tight we may resort to a uh, impact tool that ain't budging Okay, before I pull off the seal, I want to clean out the threads in the crankshaft. So I got top of an aerosol paint can, cut it away. I don't want to get any junk inside. So loose paper, press that in there to hold it. Spray it out with some carb cleaner. give it a brushing with a wire brush. We got a new gland nut. Let's see how it fits. Very nice, very smooth, good. Now we'll pop the seal out. Pop out the seal. I don't like prying on the crank. There we go. And we'll see what's going on with these. Should be three. One, two. There's only two. Okay. After moving them around, there are three. The first two were really stuck together very well we're going to measure these up see what size they are i'm going to keep them in the same order that they were in this one in particular i want to make sure that it goes back in against that bearing surface all right what do we got here 10 uh, 12 15 thousandths. Okay, we got the new flywheel torqued on. There is no shims behind it. There is no main seal. There is no O-ring in the flywheel. We just want the bare bones reading with nothing in this right now. So the old flywheel is like around 30 thousandths or something, I think. This one, push it all the way in. That should be zeroed. We'll pull it out. I can't read the number. Pops back. It's not wanting to stay here, so let's pull it and see. It's about 30. That will give us a ballpark reading. We're going to take this on and off probably a couple of times until we get it right. So 30 thousandths is a start, and I'm going to do a little calculations and look at our shims that we have. Okay, we got the flywheel back off and we put together a stack of shims. We're using one of the old ones, the one that was against the bearing surface. Okay, I got the shim pack in there and the gauge is actually still at zero, exactly where it was when I bolted it back on. So I know that's pretty accurate. This is still too loose. I already Try it quick, but let's see what we got. That's still pushing 30, that's crazy. Let's 
excuse me, 40. How could it be more? Let's take a close look at what's going on with the main bearing in here. I mean, it doesn't look good. Watch the bearing. Spinning. Should not be moving. It's also moving in and out. Now this thing was driving around a few weeks ago. It really didn't sound bad. But that's not good. I have some decisions to make. Do we put it back together the way it was? and run it around the way it is and see what happens? Or do we tear this whole thing apart and rebuild it? Stay tuned. All right, after much contemplation, made a decision, we're gonna throw this back together and run it. I have a brand new transmission in this thing that I need to test. The engine was running and driving before. We put back the factory shims. We're gonna go with the new flywheel and throw the clutch on, a new clutch, and throw it back in and see how it goes. Let's get the main seal in now. seal installer you could tap it in by hand but I borrowed this from a friend Let's see how it works seems to work pretty well Okay, we got a new O-ring in the flywheel here. I put a little bit of grease on it and smeared it around in there. I put a little grease on the outside here too, just to lubricate the seal when it starts to uh, first spin. All right, let's button this thing back together. And hope for the best. That's tight. Okay, everything's back together. I wish me luck with this. Hopefully it'll be running well like it was before. I took the opportunity to pop the valve covers off and put new gaskets in and check the clearance. They were all pretty good. A few of them needed to be tweaked a minor bit. And uh, hopefully this will be back in the car tomorrow and running and driving. Thanks for watching.